here at uh, Gilberti's. Yes. Come out, check out the pizza and stuff. One Delicious. of my favorite restaurants, by the way. Yes, I love Sue it. Sue and Wayne Gilberti are my buddies. Yeah, we might see them here in a few minutes. Yeah. Uh, so I want to talk to you real quick about uh, the internet. We were talking about reality shows, and yeah. I know you were telling me that you have something else going on here shortly, working yeah. on another reality show. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, any hints or anything? Yeah, we're excited about that. My wife and my two kids and myself are going to Hollywood for nine days to do this new TV project, and they won't let us talk about what it is yet. You know, they uh -huh. make you sign contracts and stuff, but it's oh, going to yeah. be on television, I think, in spring break area of next season. Oh, and that's going to be fantastic. And Good for advertising I, for here. Yeah, and I'm thinking I may do a guest spot at the Hollywood Magic Castle while I'm there. Yeah. That'll be fun. That's, oh, that's, that's where you've got world-class guys from around uh -huh. the world. Fairly. Yeah, I've done it several times. Yeah. Have you been have yeah. you performed oh, there yeah. before? Oh, yeah, I've been there before, but I never performed there, so. Oh, it's, yeah, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of work, and it's, yeah. uh, but it's fun. You meet yeah. all kinds of interesting people because I'm a huge Star Wars fan. Yeah. We were kind of talking about that. And uh, the night I was there, Hayden Christensen and, yeah. and Natalie Portman, they all came in. Awesome. And that was, that was, you know, who came cool. to see me at the Branson Mall, speaking of the mall years ago, was Neil Patrick Harris, actually. Oh, yeah. And he's big time behind the whole magic scene out in, in mm -hmm. Hollywood. He's the president of the Magic Castle. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So he saw cool. my show at Branson Mall and I about passed out. We <laughs> comped him in. They said, can, uh, can Neil Harris come to your show with about seven comps? And I told my wife, I bet that's Neil Patrick Harris. She goes, uh -huh. no way. I go, yes way. Uh -huh. And of course, we took him backstage and gave him all kinds of gifts and stuff. You're like Siegfried. You're like, yeah. if he comes in, <laughs> just get him out the back you door. You know, Roy, really give quick. him magic kits and bouquets get him of out flowers. Of here. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. But I wanted to talk about the internet because um, uh, I know you uh, were in on the internet when the, mm -hmm. it was first starting. You're very much into multimedia yeah. and stuff, as was I. I had a big write-up in mm -hmm. uh, Newsweek about being one of the first e-commerce sites when people were saying, mm -hmm. will people buy things over the internet? And boy, right. you know, they were doubting that mm -hmm. we would be successful at that. Yeah. But it has changed magic it so has. much because yeah. just like with the reality shows, it seems like everybody has seen everything. Yeah. And whenever I post videos, I love to post videos. Mm -hmm. I love to try things out and post them on there with different characters. Right. One thing I hate is on YouTube, I'll post a, uh, let's say, restored soda can mm -hmm. routine. Right but on. I do it in my own way as a redneck. And right below that will be how to do the restored right. Uh, right you know, soda can. Yeah, it's and just... it's right there. And it just makes magic so difficult. Oh, absolutely. So do you post a lot on YouTube? I try not to post my N1 numbers, which you and I know what that is. An mm -hmm. N1 to the lay public would be the smaller numbers in front of the main curtain, right. the small tricks. But those are my favorite illusions to do, actually. My whole show, I feel like, is, is held together with the glue of the N1 numbers, from right. newspaper tears to Nesta boxes and mm -hmm. all the small bits. In Card fact, manipulations. Yeah, and stuff. it's absolutely my favorite kind of magic. And I think that's what makes a true magician, actually, is the sleight of hand close-up and N1 bits, comedy, timing. Yeah. And I'm very gun-shy, as you would say, or we would say, about putting on my my a material on youtube right i put all my box stuff on youtube and i think if they steal that or they copy that i don't care everybody's doing that anyway yeah but here's the problem with that is that it's not cheap yeah it's it, not so it's not like somebody in there you know doing a birthday party can right buy on. the uh yeah helicopter appearance or right. motorcycle yeah but you know it's just terrible because in some ways as an artist it's good and bad uh, like with your i haven't seen the act you're talking about but let's just say you do the redneck can type of thing mm-hmm not only will somebody show how it works, maybe, but someone else is going to be doing your redneck act, that happened. which is just not nice at that all. Exactly. <laughs> that exact thing happened to you know? me this past year is I've been doing it for years. Yeah. And, and one good thing about YouTube is I have it um, chronicled on Docu there that I've been doing it for like four years. There you go. And I actually have the name Redneck Magician mm -hmm. uh, copyright trademarked. Right on. And I did all of that when I started. And yeah. uh, I had somebody start posting as the redneck oh, magician yeah. just... and doing the same routines and stuff. But I had it's this terrible. on record. So my, yeah. my attorney told me, wait till they're, wait to yeah. see if they're successful and then mm -hmm. get their money. There you so, go. <laughs> well, you know how it is. I mean, magic's truly operated on ethics. And you either have it or you don't. Most, mm -hmm. a lot of them don't. They and, don't. you know, as soon as I did AGT with the motorcycle, uh, a guy in Europe knocked it off. Yeah. He built one. And they put it on Britain's Got Talent. Yeah. And I got uh, on the guy on Facebook, really got up in his business on private messages. And he told me, Simon Cowell made me do it. Yeah. 
And I'm like, well, I don't know if I believe that or not. But mm. Simon Cowell does own an EGT as well. Right, So right. then it makes me think, were they videotaping my prop backstage when I was in the dressing room? You know what I'm saying? It's yeah, kind yeah. of like makes you wonder. Yeah, and that's a huge problem in magic. And my pet peeve mm -hmm. is I've heard you say in other podcasts, it's not about yeah. the tricks. No. And it's about the presentation. presentation. And it's about your personality and connecting with the audience. Absolutely. And so many magicians, and I had a major issue with this. Mm -hmm. I had somebody that was close to me see my show and Branson mm -hmm. many times. Right. Many, many times. Mm -hmm. And then I found out they won an award at a competition, which I don't do competitions right anymore. And I happened to see a videotape and it was my act from beginning to end. That's, same jokes, yeah. same routines. His justification was, well, you're doing, you're using gimmicks that you can buy, but mm -hmm. it was all my presentation. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was weird that you did the same three yeah. routines, you yeah. know? Yeah, but, presentation's more important than the prop. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think. Because yeah. that's the artist. The presentation is the entertainer, and the trick is the trick. Right, right. right. Yeah, the trick like, means nothing in a way. Yeah. You get it in the right hands, and it becomes a like a Like with a, a musical thing. instrument. Absolutely. You know, you can yeah. own the best piano, but if yeah. you can't Play engage it. the audience yeah. there. So I'm a big fan of presentation, performance, comedy, all the stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But what do you think? Um, I think the internet has created these these stars uh, that are just momentary yeah. in that uh, I was listening to a musician talk about it and you used to have to go and practice and audition mm -hmm. and work on everything. But now with YouTube, right on. if you have one decent trick, mm -hmm. you can get millions of followers. Yeah, it's and absolutely crazy. Everything else you do is garbage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess what everybody's hoping and praying for these days is to go viral. Which yeah. that sounds like a negative thing, but in the internet world, that's a beautiful thing, right? Yeah, I guess yeah. so. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, uh, Rick Marcelli, Hollywood manager that used to be for Copperfield, he says today the best way to become famous, because people sit, used to ask him, how do you become famous? And back in the day, it used to be Johnny Carson show. Remember in the day? Yeah. If you were on the Carson show back in those days, you, the next morning you were a superstar. Right. Nowadays, there's so many hundreds of thousands of television. You know, there, there's so many TV shows. If you're on one TV show... It's not like being on the Carson show back exactly. in the day. And so he said, truly, the way to become a star today is truly uh, YouTube. Yeah. And it's mm -hmm. kind of true in a way, because if you get, I, I haven't been so blessed yet to get a viral type Something hit. Viral. Mm -hmm. But if you not do. online. But <laughs> online, yeah. <laughs> but if you do, I'm told it's a beautiful thing. That's, yeah. Some of my friends have been fortunate enough to have that happen. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that would be great and all, but <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. of course it would be to yeah. wake up one morning and have millions and millions yeah. of hits. And I, I heard a comedian one time, he was a disabled comedian, has mm -hmm. cerebral palsy, and somehow his video, a clip of it was shown on Ellen or mm -hmm. Oprah or something. Right. He was out on vacation when he woke mm -hmm. up one day, he had 10 million hits. Unbelievable. And it's yeah. just crazy overnight. Yeah. But you have to be able to capitalize on that. It yeah. doesn't do any good. To... Yeah. And then you got to have the goods to back it up. I mean, if you got one good routine and you don't have a two hour show or a one hour show, you're in trouble, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I used to have a magic school in yeah. Ohio, but my rule was I only took on two or three students at a time. Right. And my most famous story was I had a guy, I had met him, a kid, at a blue and gold banquet. Mm -hmm. And I was very reluctant, but he seemed like he would really work at it. Showed him a simple little uh, matrix and right a couple up. other things. Two weeks of lessons. The mm -hmm. third week he came in and said he had to leave early because he had showed me his new business card his dad mm -hmm. got him and that he was going to do a birthday party. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the wow. third week of lessons. <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> because he had watched videos online. On YouTube and, and stuff, yeah. And he knew what he was doing, but... Yeah, but so I many, think it's yeah. changed so much. But for the good, too. I mm -hmm. mean, it's made Magic more popular, but a lot of the new shows out, mm -hmm. I think Penn and Teller's new show mm -hmm. is fantastic for yeah. showing talent. Yeah, it's it's definitely a better show for presenting talent. Mm -hmm. And I, I was talking to their producers a while back as well. Unfortunately, I didn't make it to that show. I'm hoping to do that eventually. Yeah. I've got a new illusion that I'm working on that's so cool, I think that it would be worthy of that show. Appearing Bicycle. No, 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 no <laughs> just not. keep going back in time. <laughs> yeah, no, it's actually a new levitation that's quite interesting. Oh. I invented a new levitation where you float a person from the audience up, but it can be done 360, surrounded, mm -hmm. with people standing very close to it, and no one can see how it works. Most interesting. And it's something I've been working on for two years, and if I can finish the goal, it's not completed yet, I think it would be worthy of that television show, because that they like fun. stuff that's... They love a lot of slot of hand as well, but I think if they're going to watch an illusion, it's going to have to be something that's really going to have them scratch their head. Yeah, yeah. Because they've seen it all. Oh, they know. have. And they're have. great guys, by the way. I used to 
watch the. I used to watch them rehearse in Vegas. That oh, was yeah? a very special moment to get to go in and watch these guys kind of work behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. And yeah. you know, I just took a lot of mental notes of how polished these guys are. Yeah, very, yeah. very. Well, their show is really popular right now. Yeah, but you do a lot of inventing. And when I come back, I want to talk to you real quick okay. about uh, inventing magic and copywriting magic. Okay. So we'll be right back with Taylor Reed. Thanks. Thank you for supporting All Things Branson. Be sure to subscribe and stay in touch on Facebook and Twitter. Check back at allthingsbranson.com for the latest news about Branson, Missouri.